In this video, I'm breaking down the differences between five different $300 electronic drum sets from the company Alesis. What's up? Justin here. Welcome to 65 Drums, the place to keep on top of all things eDrum related. Hope you guys are all having an awesome day. This video is to clear up confusion because Alesis really isn't helping. There have been five different versions of their $300 electronic drum set. Now, obviously, they're, they're not all obviously being made right now, but there's lots of different versions of practically the same thing. So drummers get confused. They're like, hey, Justin, what's the difference between the Nitro and the Burst? And then other times, drummers have been wondering, what's the difference between the DM6 Session and the DM6 USB? Let's jump into it. What are the differences between all these kits? And which one's the best? I'm gonna start with the pads first because basically you have a handful of pads and modules that are just being mixed and matched to make these five different drum sets. So let's start off with the cymbals first. There's two versions. This is the old version, 12 inches across. This is the newer version that's currently being on the Nitro, the Forge, and the Command. These things are 10 inches across. So that's funny, the newer versions are all smaller cymbals. Now the toms, there are three versions of these toms. You got the original version right here. These were actually uh, nice to play on. Uh, they didn't really last that long. But the cool thing about them was that you can turn them into mesh pads. I'll link a tutorial on this down in the description below if you want to go check that out. The second version is like this flat like piece of rubber. And then the third version is the current one. It's got this little rubber rim around it. I wouldn't really say any of these pads is that much better than the other ones, but I just want to let you know the, those are the three versions. As far as the snare pad goes, they're all dual zone on all these different models. As far as kick drum towers go, they're all the same. Alesis hasn't really upgraded their kick drum tower. Some of these kits don't have a kick drum tower though, which I'll get into later on. Now let's talk about the modules. There are two versions here. You got the Nitro module and you got the DM6 module. The DM6 is the older one. It's only got just over 100 sounds. The Nitro has over 300 sounds. And so you're, you're basically getting four times as many drum kits. You're also getting three times as many drum sounds. You get MIDI in and out on the Nitro drum module. You also have uh, two extra inputs for extra pads. You also got stereo outputs. So the Nitro is better in literally every single way. So if you have to choose a drum set, choose one with the Nitro drum module. Okay, so that might seem like a lot of different things, but it's really not, and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. So let's start with the first drum set. We're gonna roughly go in oldest to newest in that sort of order. So the first one is the Alesis DM6 USB. This one has been around for a very long time. It comes with the DM6 drum module, so that's the older version. It has 108 sounds, 10 kits inside of it. The snare and tom pads are those first generation rubber pads that can be turned into mesh pads if you want. I'll, again, I'll be linking that tutorial down in the description below if you wanna go check it out. They're all eight inches across. The snare is dual zone. The symbols are generation one, they're 12 inches across. The next kit is the Alesis Burst. This one's actually pretty unique. You got the older drum module, so the Alesis DM6, 108 sounds, 10 kits. The snare is larger than all the other ones on this list. It's nine inches across, it's a newer version. The toms are generation two, so they're that flat rubber pad. They're all eight inches across and they're single zone. The really unique thing about this drum set is that it comes with headphones, a throne, and drumsticks. The whole idea behind this kit is that it's an all-in-one package. You got the drum set, you got the sticks, you got the drum throne, you got the pedal, everything is good to go. The only Achilles heel here is that it doesn't have a kick drum tower. Now, as you can see, they had to cut corners here because they gave you a nine inch snare drum pad and they also give you a drum throne. So they had to compensate somehow and they decided to take away the kick drum tower. So obviously this was a choice on their part because they had to save money, but they also wanted to have an all in one package solution. So that's why this kit exists. Okay, so that was kit number two. Let's move on to kit number three. This is the Alesis DM6 Session Kit. So like the name implies, it's got the older drum module. You got eight inch pads, dual zone snare, and then single zone toms. At least I think it is. Alesis did not say specifically on their website that it is dual zone, but all the other kits on this list are all dual zone snare pads, so I'm assuming that it is. That snare pad is the generation one pad, so it's the older one that you can turn into a mesh pad if you want to. And then all the toms are like the second generation, so they're the flat ones. The cymbals are all the single zone 10 inch ones that you'll see on the newer drum sets that Alesis is making right now. You've got a drum rack that's reinforced. There's an extra bar in the middle there and then another reinforcement arm that goes to one of the legs. The, the really interesting thing about this drum set is that it's got this hockey puck drum pad thing. It's called the Stealth Kick. 
So basically you've got this bent kick drum beater and it's hitting this little pad that's on the ground there. Yeah, it's a little bit confusing. You've got the newer cymbals, you got the older snare, and then you don't have a kick drum tower, but you've got this kick drum pad that's on the ground there. Anyway, this is kind of a mixed bag. Uh, still, since it's got the older drum module, I wouldn't necessarily go after this unless you found it for an incredibly stupid cheap deal somewhere. Okay, moving on to the next drum set, we have the Elisis DM6 Nitro. This is the most confusing named drum set they've ever made, and I'm not sure why it exists. Anyway, you got the Nitro drum module, which is the newer one. It's got 40 kits inside, 385 sounds. You've got a Generation 1 snare pad. You've got Generation 1 tom pads. You've got Generation 1 cymbal pads. Uh, but you got the newer drum module. So maybe they just had a ton of these extra pads in their back warehouse catalog. They had the pads from the DM6, so they kept that in the name, but they also wanted to let everyone know that it had new sounds. So they put the nitro in the name. So it's a really confusing, uh, really confusing setup here. But basically, you've got all the older pads and you got a new drum module coupled with that. Okay, finally, the last drum set, the Elisis Nitro. If you want to know my full thoughts on this kit, I made a first impressions video, which I'll link below. Also my Elisis Nitro versus Elisis Forge video, which I'll link below as well. But anyway, this drum set is the latest incarnation of the Elisis $300 electronic drum line. This thing has the new module, the Elisis Nitro module, obviously. It also comes with all the new pads. So you got the 10 inch cymbals, you got all the eight inch pads for the snare and toms. The great thing about this drum set is that you do have the extra input so you can plug in two extra pads. You can also have USB MIDI in and out on it as well. You've got stereo outputs. This thing is the best $300 electronic drum set available on the market that I personally know of. So if you're on a really tight budget, then buy one of these. If you can save up more and buy something nicer, I heavily encourage you to do that. But if you're on a really, really tight budget, the Elisis Nitro is the best one on this list. And it should be because it's the newest one. So that's the breakdown of all five of those kits. If you wanna know the differences between all seven different Elisis DM10 drum sets. Literally, there are seven versions of that kit. I'll link that video down in the description below. You should probably find that interesting if you liked this one. Question of the day, have you bought any of these drum sets? If so, what did you think about it? I realize this thing isn't gonna last for 10 years, but for people with like two or 300 bucks, this is one of the options. And right now the Elisis Nitro is probably the best one out there for that price point. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have an awesome day and I'll see you in a few.